nice beautiful foyer entryway coming in. So you have a coat closet, bedroom, living room, full bath here. Okay. But first let's go down this way first. This is your master suite. Look at all this light. I actually don't even need these uh, lights on, but the light is amazing. This big closet. This is the rear of the complex. And that was, by the way, a king-size bed. And then you have this extra rooms, bedroom, office, radiator. There's no closet in here, but then you, then you have this kind of lounge room, I like to say. Now these windows, I'm going to show you these fancy windows. So they clip open and they basically clip open and then <laughs> right up just like that. So you open up this kind of breeze. It's really easy to operate too. You can do it all in one hand, like I just did just now. And basically you have this kind of open air room. I mean, look, you got the amazing, that's the screen there. That's the dividing line between the screen. So it's really all open there. That entire area is all open. And this actually connects to a common area which then goes into the unit again. There's the unit in that door, but we'll, We'll go out that way and you'll see what I mean. Okay. Now, uh, this is the MBTA kind of parking area. So you will hear trains coming in and out of there on occasion. Um, and this is the back parking lot. And um, we'll see from the other window, it's a little bit easier to see over there, but um, so that's the bathroom window. You can always frost that over if you don't want it so clear. Okay. bathroom here with full-size laundry. It's own commode room for privacy. Nice beautiful huge vanity. And then a jetted tub. This really beautiful tile work. And then they have this nice bow front, and this is the front of the building. And then you'll have the um, C line out front. This is Beacon Street, but it's got this huge, huge living room here. Um, you can certainly swap them. This could be a, di a dining room, and then you could swap this to be a living room where the fireplace is. Um, but it's also this is the room that's closest to the 
kitchen. So certainly there's a lot of flexibility in how you want to lay these out, but see that's Beacon Street that's the rail line and these are really fancy pillow windows high quality windows so it helps with the uh, noise insulation but these were all recently replaced at considerable cost <laughs> but look at this amazing wainscoting that you have all throughout this room and look at this, this is this artist drawn backsplash that kind of flows into the rest of the kitchen. And look at this vent. You have built in seating. storage you've got your beverage refrigerator this kind of eating peninsula and then you have this other bedroom office there um, this was used as a bedroom at one point there actually used to be a closet right there where the exposed brick is but that got opened up because um, obviously the Exposed brick is really kind of nice and classic. This is a really big room here, though. So, <clears throat> and then this is that uh, door again to the common area. So this goes right down to the basement where there's extra storage, as well as right down to the parking. But this is that room that opens up. So we kind of went around in a circle. So one more time. Oh, and actually I did want to point out the parking from that other room. So I'm just going to go back. We're going to, we're going to go back out in a circle. Again. Okay. So there is one spot directly down below, down below, and these are actually really wide spots. In fact, let me just open up this window here. That's a wide, they're both wide and kind of long spots. So you have one of those, and then you've got one against the back fence over there. That are, there's nothing written about the one along the back fence, but they've been used from owner to owner and passed down. about that when you see the unit for more details but again more you know nice high quality windows that are really you know when you open them you hear the sound outside certainly but when you close them uh, it, it shuts out a whole lot of that noise and this is one of the radiators here but some beautiful floors throughout the tea so you can barely hear it right. and then it's gone so it kind of came and went and you kind of hear that a little bit in the back as well right from the other side because that's where the MBTA parks so that's 
they park in the back. That's kind of one of their transfer stations. And then this is actually, you know, um, the, the sea line here. And then you've got Beaconsfield kind of down the street off to the right. And then you have a um, uh, stop uh, Star Market down down Beacon there too. And then Washington Square past that, of course. So. Uh, 